Today I share the top 25 comic books in my collection. What's up everyone, Takedown here, welcome back to the channel. Today I am sharing with you the top 25 comic books I have in my collection. The first 20 that I show are not going to be in order in any way. The last 5 I show are going to be the top 5 that I have in my collection. So let's just get straight into it. It's mostly going to be Marvel. I do have, oh, I think, 1 or 2 DC in here. And uh, let's just get right to it. So first up, I have issue 234 of Iron Man. This is one of my favorite covers, by the way. Look at that. It looks clean and crisp. I do like the white. Usually I like whenever there's a lot of art uh, in the backgrounds, but this it is crisp just because it is the white background. It looks amazing. And it is a collaboration with Spider-Man. So of course that is going to be my top 25 that I have. Next up, this is issue 254 of Iron Man with Killer Santa Claus. This is called Ho Ho Homicide. And I not I haven't got a chance to read it yet. A lot of this is based on the cover designs because I do love art a lot, but this is one of my next ones I'm going to be reading. It looks amazing. It is top 25 in my opinion. Next up, this one, it could have been one of my top five, but I really had to pick my choices wisely, but it is at least in my top 25, and that is issue number one of X-Men. Now this one here, it came in four different covers for the first one, I do have all four, but Magneto is my favorite cover for issue number one of X-Men. It just looks so amazing. It is solely him. All the other ones have other people as well. Maybe Cyclops is just by himself. I believe that might be the case, but this one is my favorite one of the four different covers you can get for issue number one. Next up is issue 333 of Captain America. And it is who will be the next Captain America. I think it's a really cool cover design. I do love the story behind it. It is really interesting. I do love it. And that's why it's in my top 25 as well. Next up, this might be the only DC I have. This is the Justice Justice League Annual 1984. The second annual the Justice League has made. It's, this one here might be one of the top valued ones I have in my collection. But I'm not going to be mentioning values of any of my uh, comic books. Because to me, that's not what this video is about. It is about me sharing the top 25 in my collection not the value of them. I don't really care about the value in my opinion. A lot of people might, but I'm not one that does. But there is that one. Issue 233 of Iron Man in collaboration with Ant-Man. I do love the military aspect in the background, the tanks and such. It looks really cool. One of my favorite ones with Ant-Man in it. Next up is the Amazing Spider-Man issue 250. I don't think it's the first time we've seen the Green Goblin, but with Green Goblin on the front, so I'll just zoom in there. That looks amazing. That is a great cover, by the way. And that is why it's on this uh, Top 25 video, but holy crap. I just love the designs of a lot of these. That's why they're in this video. Next up is the annual for The Amazing Spider-Man, annual number 20 with Captain, or wow, I really screwed up there with Iron Man on it. I almost said Captain America. Um, this is Iron Man of 2020. So the Iron Man from two years from now. So that's going to be pretty interesting. I wonder if they're going to have like a 2020 Iron Man movie. I hope not. I think some of the futuristic ones could get a little weird if they made them into movies. That's just me. Next up is issue uh, 92 of the Spectacular Spider-Man. Uh, what is the answer? Pretty cool, pretty basic design though in my opinion, but it is pretty cool nonetheless. I do love that. A little bit basic, but still really cool cover when you look at it. Next is Web of Spider-Man issue number 11. That is the artwork I was talking about that I really, whenever I'm choosing my comic books and purchasing them, I really draw into the design as well. The story, some of my comic books, some of the times the story can be not the greatest, but the cover is a lot of times is what I purchase them for because I love to display comic books. I don't have many on display because I don't have many holders, but that looks amazing. Next up is issue 182 of Iron Man. Uh, in the morning, Tony Stark will be sober or dead. It's a really cool design. I do love this issue. Really interesting. Next up is the Invincible Iron Man issue 170, where Iron Man is taking off his helmets. 
really interesting. It's an Iron Man you've never seen before, so I'm not 100% sure if this is the first time he uh, took his helmet off, but it is really interesting. If you do know if it is the first issue where he took his helmet off, comment down below. That means I would love it way more. Next up is Iron Man issue 191, the Retro School Iron Man, original Iron Man. It looks really cool. I do love this design as well. Like I said, a lot of these I've chose based on the design. Next up is 231 of Iron Man. As you can see, that's pretty cool as well. It's a great one there. 243 of Iron Man. Uh, Tony Stark shot. That's pretty cool. I do love that. It's like a news article. Pretty interesting. Next up is 247 of Iron Man. I do love collaborations. I did say that in previous videos, I believe, but the Incredible Hulk, I don't have too many of his. I don't have any of his solo comics. I am looking for them, but this is great because I'm a huge fan of uh, Iron Man. I'm a huge fan of uh, the Incredible Hulk, and this is a collaboration of them both. That's why it's in here. The Web of Spider-Man issue number seven with the Incredible Hulk on it. Really cool, really creative. I do love that face. That looks amazing. Look at that. I'm really happy with this one. Next up is issue 28 of the Web of Spider-Man with the Statue of Liberty in the background. Now, I don't know if this is the first one that had the Statue of Liberty in the background. Um, I think I've seen a few others, but that looks amazing nonetheless. I think that is a really cool one. This one here is 308 of Captain America. Now this is, I do know this for sure. This is the first issue with Armadillo in it. His first appearance. It isn't one of the greatest first appearance, but it's the only one I have. So I had to put it in this video for my top 25 because I do consider this a top 25. Even though he's not the greatest or the most known character in the Marvel Universe, it's the only first appearance I have, so I had to share it with you guys nonetheless. Next up, Web of Spider-Man issue number 8. Look at the design of that hanging upside down in New York City. Great cover in my opinion. And now we are getting into the top 5. So these ones are the top 5 I love most in my collection. Starting off strong with issue number 1 of Guardians of the Galaxy. I have issue number 1 to 25 I believe. So issue number one, of course, is my favorite one. I don't have too many issue number ones, but this one is amazing. I'm a huge fan of Guardians of the Galaxy. I do love the movies. I love the whole franchise. So this one here, I'm really proud to own. Next up is issue number one of the classic X-Men with, I think, most or all the characters on the front. I do have two copies of this one, by the way. I think I mentioned that in a previous video because I love them so much and uh, I got it in my bulk find that I got. That's where I got my comic books from. But that looks really cool. I do love that. Next up is issue 292 of the Fantastic Four with, yes, Adolf Hitler on the cover. I know he's not a favorite ever, but this is a great historic comic book, if you will. I do love history as well. I'm a huge fan. Well, not I shouldn't say that. I'm not a fan of war, but I do love the history aspect behind it. So having something with Adolf Hitler not everybody would like, but I do love that it is a comic book at least. So you can give me that. Next up, issue 332 of Captain America. This is Captain America No More. A really cool background, a really cool cover. It's almost as if the uh, American flag is bleeding in a way. To me, that just looks amazing. Great cover. And the last... Very last one is actually four comics because I could not choose which one. This is a four-part series. As I mentioned before on this channel, I'm a huge fan of the Transformers. So what this is, this is the Transformers universe. And this basically gives you the rundown of all the robots in the universe throughout the four books. Uh, gives you their abilities, their background story, a little, little bit about them. You get a paragraph or two of each uh, robot. So issue number one. Issue number two, number three, and number four. So these ones here are my favorite ones in my collection. And I can prove that because these are the ones I usually have displayed over here. I did have to take them down just for this video. 
Really sad I didn't want to move them because I have them up a certain way, but these are the favorite, my favorite comic books I have in my entire collection. I do love the yeah, universe books. I think they're amazing. I do have some of the Spider-Man ones, but these are the ones I really wanted to collect and it's a complete one through four series. Comment down below which one of all 25 comic books I showed you would be your top if you had it in your collection, or maybe you do, comment that below too. And I will see you guys in the next video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys have a comic book video and you wanna wa have me watch it, leave it links down below. I don't know if my YouTube in the comment section will take that away or put it in my spam, but I will try to watch it. If you do, put it down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.